Now I am going to dictate a journal passage based on shorthand reading and dictation exercises magazine. Exercises number 10 at the rate of 80 words per minute. Let's start. Many here tonight have visited India or have been connected with it in some way or other and some may even have lived there. I shall not take your time enumerating the social problems we have inherited or what we have done to build our economic or political strength. All I shall say is that if the challenges are gigantic, we have now acquired the capability to deal with them. But in spite of these enormous problems and our limited resources, we have not served any international responsibilities. We are concerned today with the tensions we see becoming more and more acute and with the growing disparities between the affluent and the poor pair. Freedom means first of all the freedom to live and every human being has the right to live with self-respect. All countries preach equality and justice but in actuality there is a narrowness of thinking, short-term assessments and actions which conflict with the long-term good. Disparities continue and grow as do rivalry and mistrust. Para. Britain is history conscious. For the average person in India, History is epic and myth experienced through legend and ballad. The literate approach education and culture rather self-consciously but for our rural fold. These remain largely oral. It was the masses of India who gave force and substance to our freedom movement in the last 35 years. They have exercised franchise, participated in decision making and have become aware of the problems of the wider world. Those who do not know us are astonished at their ability to go to the heart of the matter without getting lost in verbal sneers, as do some of the more educated and the elite para. A few decide, the many bear the consequences. This old truth of life has many new manifestations. When a new nation becomes a great power, it considers every part of the globe its backyard. In its international chess play, its moves create problems for everyone else. No one is unaffected and no one can afford to be unconcerned. Para. Europe is armed to the teeth, but it has avoided frontal collision for many years. Asia has had several wars. India itself has been the victim at least five times with what patience, persistence and hardship we have developed just enough strength to ensure our security when the level of danger around us has risen 
with dramatic suddenness and it is precisely at this critical moment that we have to shoulder an extra burden. Stop